for my YouTube channel. It made the video a little bit longer, but you could always do the video in sections. We're going to do a combination one leg sit to stand. You could always do a two legged squat and then a one leg hinge. So we sit without plopping or falling, stand, and then hinge at the right hip and stand. Relax the shoulders, balance and core stability. So this challenges strength, flexibility, core stability. I'm here holding a towel, but you could always use light weights. I only have five pound kettlebells, so that would be too heavy for me on a hinge. Plus, I really wanted to focus on my balance. Keep in mind that if you're on a rug, it's harder to balance, especially if it's a very cushioned rug. A hardwood floor would have a better stability for balance. An uneven surface is harder to balance on. Think about a BOSU or a ball or a stability disc. All right, so you can see me struggling with my balance, but that's what I'm working here. Make sure not to fall or lean back. We absolutely make sure that we are sitting with control and standing. We're gonna do about eight on each side, keeping a soft bend in your right knee and really effectively straightening out that left leg as it reaches to the opposite wall. You can flex or point your toe. I think I tend to point just to feel the elongation of the leg. Sit to stand and inhale hinge and exhale as you come back up nice and tall. Awesome. Eight on each. Great job. Try to keep the head above the shoulders. Try not to elevate the shoulders when you're doing this exercise. If you're doing this workout full on YouTube, there's a plie pulse in between each side. If you're here, you're just switching sides. Awesome. My knee is slightly bent. I could be working on elongating my right knee. Sit to stand. No leaning back. <laughs> These are really hard for me. Um, Squats and sits are hard for me because I'm tight in my ankles. Core stability, sit, exhale, stand, and hinge, and awesome. Just relax the shoulders down and away from the ears. Make sure it doesn't start to look like a hunchback on your hinge. And again, with this voiceover, I might be saying tons of things there. I think I say, don't use your arms and swing your arms. But, you know, I think all of us will never know. <laughs> so just keep it stable. Have fun with it. Relax the shoulders back and down. I am seeing my shoulders kind of hike up a little bit, but that is probably because I'm tight. And sit to stands are hard for me. Keep hinging. Good. Take it back to center. Now this little combo is a great combination and you can use a chair. So if you didn't have an ottoman but you wanted to ju just do this piece, you could do your one leg sit to stands, one leg hinge, then your plie section and go to both sides. Eight with each, that would be